हरे कृष्णा वॉट वी फील डजेंट फेल अस वॉट वी विल डज ऑल ऑफ अस ट्राई टू लिव अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर लेवल एंड आवर कंसेप्शन अपराइट लाइफ but often our desires our feelings drag us down and sometimes they fell us now sometimes these desires these feelings arise within us and they almost seem to be uncontrollable so when we seem to be overpowered like this what can we do how can we avoid being overpowered by such feelings for that we need to understand that actually uh, what we feel doesn't fell us it is what we will does that means there is a difference between feeling and willing feeling is something which arises within us whereas willing is something which we decide to do possibly in response to that feeling so this difference is highlighted in the bhagavad gita in the second chapter 70th verse where it is stated apuryamana machala pratishtham samudrama pah pravishanti yadvad tadvat kamayam pravishanti sarve sa shanti mapnoti na kama kami so apuryamanam achala pratishtham that actually if there is a ocean in which water is coming in through the rivers and the ocean is not disturbed because it's so large so similarly if our consciousness has become broadened expanded then whatever urges arise within us won't disturb us so much so how can we broaden our consciousness by focusing on the broadest reality the biggest reality not just focusing on but by connecting with and becoming devoted to the biggest reality the biggest reality is the ultimate reality the source of everything the all attractive supreme person krishna and when we connect with him when we learn to become devoted to him then our consciousness gets enriched and fulfilled by that connection and even when say some feeling arises within us some some temptation proposes hey this is so nice i want it that thought might come up that desire might come up within us this is so nice but we feel if we will think that oh if i go in this direction i will lose my connection with krishna it's not worth it so that emotion will not translate into intention and that gap between emotion and intention will result if our intention is directed elsewhere is directed constructively and that constructive direction each one of us can develop by connecting with krishna so by understanding that what we feel does not fell us we can avoid feeling victimized or overpowered by our past conditionings instead we can become empowered by strengthening our connection with krishna and strengthening our determination to connect with krishna as much as possible if what we will if we make our will to do something positive for serving krishna strong then even if those uh, feelings come up within us they won't control us so much and over a period of time we will be able to resist them and then transcend them thank you hare krishna